Hey friends, so I wake up this morning and the first thing I see is some uh, notification from a guy by the name of Eddie Federin commenting, 1 John 3.15, we should pray for our brothers, not criticize them. And he's talking about this video that I did, Jonathan Clegg busted, lies and twist scriptures part one. Um... So I'm just asking, I'm just asking, what do you guys, how do you guys want me to handle this? He says, uh, we should pray for our brothers, not criticize them. Now, instantly I get four or five scriptures that just pop into my head, you know, talking about marking false teachers, um, talking about in the last days, uh, people will be teaching Jewish fables, like, you know, little things like using the Targum, which is a, you know, book of Jewish fables, basically. Uh, I've done videos on it. Matter of fact, there's a link here uh, that I did with uh, Serpent Seed Theory, Factor Fiction with Ken Amani, uh, 4, 2218. You, might, uh, you guys might want to watch that. Other uh, videos that says have nothing to do with them, don't eat with them, don't do anything. You know, now, you know, pray for them, yeah. But at the same time, you, you can't tolerate false teaching you just can't do it in my reality what about your reality i want to hear from you guys for a change i want to hear what you think how i should respond to eddie okay because uh my bible says watchmen when they see danger they're supposed to point it out and if they don't point it out and and people basically are slaughtered and they're not warned, then the blood is on my hands. And I really don't want their blood on my hands. So, again, I need to see some comments from what you guys think. Also, real quick, got another one here. Um, I'm looking at this video that this guy did. Um, in reference to the California fires. It's a pretty good video. It's from Ice Age Farmer. I suggest you subscribe to it. And, um, you know, I get this black Hebrew Israelite character. Uh, it's interesting how they always change their name. Buddha Ben Levi. And he gives all these scriptures and all this stuff. But unfortunately, I've done like an extensive amount of research on these people. And put it briefly, basically... Mm, it's like they're a bunch of crack smokers. Um, he's blaming the uh, the white man and the, and the Edomites, and you know, he pick your pick, you know, pick your flavor. What he wants to call you, um, Gentile, heathen Gentiles. He says here. Um, so, you know, I've done battle. I've done multiple videos on these guys. I've smoked them like cheap cigars so many times so here again i need your input your input what do you want me to do with the guy i just basically said black who black hebrew israelites are scripture twisting biblically illiterate idiots obviously you haven't gotten the memo or you're one of them galatians 3 28 3, 29 came james version there's neither jew nor greek there's neither bond nor free there's neither male nor female for you're all one in christ jesus and if ye be Christ, then ye are Abraham's seed and heirs of the promise. Now, to me, that's pretty clear. Okay? But, you know, these black Hebrew Israelites and other people, you know, they want to have all this division. I mean, even the Calvinists want to have division. You know, they want to have, well, there's the elect and there's those that God created that never have any hope of salvation. And they're going to live their whole lives and uh, they're going to end up burning in hell because that's the reason God made them. And i got a good friend of mine. I, I've gone around the mountain with him so many times and shown him so many verses. You know, John 3, 16, For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. And there's so many verses, you know, that talk about all men, all men, all men. Jesus Christ's blood covers all men, all men, all men. So, I mean, you know, this is what I wake up to. Um, so I need your input, okay? Give me some give me some input, how you guys would handle it. And, um, I mean, I know how I would handle it. But I want to hear from you guys, okay? So give me some feedback. All righty. Love you. Mean it.
and stay away from the serpent seed doctrine. And, uh, you know, because there's a lot of false teaching out there. Okay? And it's growing like yeast. And um, take care. Let me know. I want to hear from you. Bye now. Love you. Mean it. Thank <laughs> you.